Ted Jones Drunken Podcast is now on the air. Hey, it fucking works. All right, welcome to the Moped Jones Drunken Podcast. God damn it, I gotta quit fucking say that. Welcome to the Drunken Progressive. I'm your drunken host, Jason W. Shaver. Um, some of you may have seen on uh, SNL this past Saturday night that comedian John Mulaney, one of my favorite comedians, um, he hosted and his monologue was getting a little bit of a, a little bit of flack from the, from the liberals because he he said that nothing would change under Joe Biden, uh, and of course. The centrist, I mean the liberals, I mean the centrists, are getting all pissy. Even though that is a direct quote. Not a direct quote. It's a quote from Joe Biden. Back in June 19th, 2019, he said to his wealthy donors, nothing will fundamentally change under a Joe Biden presidency. Well, anyway, all right. So the Daily Beast, which I've heard of but don't know much about, but if... Uh, this is one of the. This is the best they can do. I'm. I, I won't be back. Uh, says SNL host John Mulaney jokes. Nothing will change if Biden beats Trump. First off, wasn't a joke. It was a fucking uh, quote. So there's no joke there. He quoted the dude. What is going on with my fucking Walmart computer today? Walmart. The fuck. This is why you guys need to donate to my Patreon and buy some merch because. I don't want a Walmart computer. I want one of those fancy Best Buy ones. You know? Because I'm a liberal elite. Alright, so... He jokes, nothing will change. That's not a joke. He quoted it. Now the subheading, the stand-up comedian delivered an inexplicable both sides bit about Biden and Trump just three days before the election. It wasn't a both sides bit. He just quoted Joe Biden. Alright, so... The article is written by a terrible writer named Matt Wilstein. says he's a senior writer, so I'm guessing he's still in high school because that's the only way I could even make sense of how horrible this article is, is it must have been done by a 17-year-old because it's fucking stupid. Anyway. So, John Mulaney, then, it's just all shit here. I'll link the article, but he said it was irresponsible. He said those, but for Mulaney to tell millions of people watching SNL three days for election that there's essentially no difference between Donald Trump and Joe Biden can only be described as deeply irresponsible. So this guy is saying it's deeply irresponsible for John Mulaney to quote Joe Biden three days before the election. Congratulations, Matt. You are not getting into Harvard. You probably—I don't know where you're going to college next year, but but I would recommend a trade school. Uh, yeah. So that's fucking shitty. And so, like, now people are on Twitter just bitching, like, "I can't believe you said that. I used to like him." It's like he. You really don't know that Joe Biden fucking said that? You don't fucking know? Now, uh, I just Googled, like, Joe Biden, nothing will change speech. And uh, tons of articles come up on it. I'm just looking at the one from Salon, just because I've heard of him. Uh, Joe Biden to rich donors, nothing will fundamentally change if he's elected. Biden assures donors no one's standard of living will change. Oh, he's got my vote. I wish I had my Howie Hawkins ballot back. God damn it, mail-in voting. That's why you gotta wait. Uh, so, former vice president. This is by Igor Dirge. June 19th, 2019. June 19th was my grandma's birthday. So, 2019, she would have been 98. But I'm gonna make a terrible joke about her death. So, cover your ears. And don't read my lips. My grandma died in 2008, but I take comfort in the fact that she died doing what she loved, falling over and hitting her head on the dresser. You know what? I might edit that out, but if Anthony Jeselnik had said that, you guys would have creamed your pantalones cortos. 
All right, so former President Biden assured rich donors at a ritzy New York fundraiser that nothing would fundamentally change if he's elected. He told donors at an event at the Carlisle Hotel in Manhattan on Tuesday evening that he would not demonize the rich and promise no one's standard of living will change. And nothing would fundamentally change. Oy. This is fucking ridiculous. Like, that's our guy. <laughs> Yay, that's the best y'all could fucking do. Now, I'm not going to play Mulaney's uh, monologue or even that line because I'll get a copyright thing. And I'm also lazy, but you guys probably saw it. And if not, it's right here on YouTube. But yeah, it was a good monologue. Um, he's never really been real political, so I was... I thought he would just be corporate, do what he's told, but I was impressed. I've like I've always been a fan. Um, I liked, I really liked his first special, New in Town, um, and the rest I haven't liked as much. But they're still very good. But the first one, like it hit all the right notes with me. And there's even a joke in New in Town where Mulaney talks about getting a massage, and the massage therapist in Chicago. Uh, tells him to dress down to his comfort level, and he says something about putting on a Cosby sweater or something. And, um, and the only reason I bring that up is because my wife is a massage therapist who worked in Chicago during that time, and she swears up and down that that was her. And I remember we, I was watching it with her. It was like one of our first times hanging out. And she's like, I know him. When I when I put in the when I played the DVD, I know him. I'm like, oh yeah, yeah. And then that's it. I just thought, oh, you've heard of him, okay. And then uh, went to uh, that joke, and she goes, that's where I know him from. I'm like, what? She's yeah, I thought he looked familiar. I'm like, lady, you don't have to lie to get into these pants. I would, <laughs> man, all you had to do is show up. Anyway, so that's that. Uh, so everyone pretending. I don't even think they're pretending to be pissed over this. Um, I think they're just ignorant as fucking usual. But Biden said nothing would change. And then now when Mulaney quotes him, now he's getting some flack. That's pretty shitty. Anyway, um, I know this election isn't very exciting. But if you're not going to vote, could you at least vote? Could you, could you vote for Howie Hawkins, Green Party? Get them to 5%. And maybe we can start having nice things someday. Unless they make rules to keep other parties out, which they do all the fucking time. Which is why I hate fucking Democrats. I hate the Republicans. I, I'm just tired of shit sandwiches. I want, I, I want a hamburger. It doesn't even have to be a good one. It can be from McDonald's. Anyway... Big rant. Bye. Do my Patreon. My computer sucks. And, um, buy some merch. My computer sucks. Don't buy a Walmart computer and then look at a bunch of porn. Don't, don't be like people I know named Jason. Bye!